Bruce Lawn. I have many things to say and mm-hmm. judge to uh and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true. Mm-hmm. And I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. They understood not that he spake to them of the father. Mm-hmm. Then Jesus said unto them, just to be clear, these next things are Jesus words, right? Mm-hmm. We all agree it's Jesus words. I'm about to say, I'm about to say, okay, let's see if he says, I am here again. Then Jesus said unto them, when ye have lifted up the son of man, then shall ye know that I am he and that I do nothing of myself. But as my father has taught me, I speak these things. I don't have to argue about what he meant when he said, I am he. He just told you. Mm -hmm. He just told you. There's no argument. People got to stop. I cannot stand, and I'm not angry at you, but I can't stand one verse Christians. Get in your Bible. I know it's hard. A lot of people don't read it. Get into it. When you find a verse, read before, read after, read the whole chapter. Of course. and, and, and maybe a lot of these questions wouldn't make sense. So what did Jesus mean? I say, I am he. Um, I don't know. Did he tell me the son of man? OK, what other verse y'all got? OK, we're not going to we're not going to keep we're going to keep going in circles. I think I think when again, my objective is not to convince you of this. I really was just curious on what your position hold was on, of this. Real quick. No, I'm only okay. saying this because I know I see people in chat spamming it. But hold on real quick. What's happening? Oh, snap. He went and got the. You, we pulling up. We pulling up. We pulling out the big boys. No, 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 no. We no, pulling no, out no, the no. big boys. No, 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 no. no. I got my. Reason. I got my commentaries. Listen, 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 my leather listen. bound Nelson. There's a specific reason I'm bringing this up. People say, Bryson, you have to know the Greek, bro. The Greek. The Greek will change your whole perception. Let me see the side of the Bible I read. Mm-hmm. You see what this is? Okay. This gives you the Greek and Hebrew mm-hmm. of all the verses. The Greek doesn't change that translation because as soon as I saw that video of, uh, what's that dude's name? Anthony Rogers. Mm-hmm. I went and looked at the Greek. I was like, hmm, maybe he has a point. Because one thing about me, if I see something very clear in scripture and it's so obvious, I will change my view. You know why? I changed my life because of scripture. Mm-hmm. Because you have to. Okay. Jesus told you what he meant by I am he. So can I get some more verses in the chat? We, we, I, we have to settle this. Is there a verse? I'm sorry. I don't. I, I don't like leaving. Ja, stuff. Ja, so when, so when, okay, just just real quick. John one one. How, you don't. You think that that beginning was the word. Words with God. Words was God. That's a popular one. I didn't want to go there with you, but just for the sake of that. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is obviously the most popular one. John John one one. Yep. And then, of course, people are gonna go go to that, and then go to the beginning of scripture, and they're gonna go to when God said made us in our image and right. things like that. But then right. you keep reading, right. he said, in my image. Mm-hmm. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. This is by far, I was waiting for you to bring this up, honestly, because this is by far the best scripture that a Trinitarian can use. All the other ones, stop using them. This one, this one scripture is the best scripture to use, but it's about how you interpret this mm-hmm. is the thing, right? Okay, so, I mean, that, based on all the other verses we just went over, I, I, don't, I don't really know how else you interpret it, like, is that Jesus is again forgiving sins? He's being accused of claiming well, equality with God. He's being worshipped as God. There's yeah, other yeah. verses from other writers in the scriptures referring to him as God. There's verses in the Old Testament. Uh, like, how do you? Okay, so how do you explain this? Uh, one? Okay, thank you. So Jesus, in my view, I know even people that agree with me usually would disagree with me on this exact point. Jesus was begotten, and sometimes I use the wrong word. I say created, and I do apologize for that. So I don't was think- Jesus created? You said what? Was Jesus created? I think he was begotten. You asked me that earlier. Okay. But, sorry. Uh, and one time I used that and I and, and I used it because that was just the first word that popped in my mind, but I didn't. It was, it was it was the wrong word to use. But Jesus was sent from heaven. Mm-hmm. I do believe Jesus is divine, meaning I do believe Jesus was there. Mm-hmm. If that if, if that if that makes sense, if mm-hmm. you understand what I'm saying. So this is where a lot of Trinitarians would agree with me. Uh, and I think one of Spinacas would agree too. But I do think Jesus was with God. Okay. So he said he said, before Abraham, I am, mm-hmm. I agree with that verse. Okay. Um, so the word was with God, and the word was God. Mm-hmm. And people get these two these two things of you. The beginning was the word, and the word was with God. The word was with God, and the word was God. Mm-hmm. And people say that's clear evidence. That Jesus is God. Mm-hmm. I believe Jesus was there, but God is the Father. 
because Jesus says that multiple matter of fact, I don't think there's any moment in the Bible where Jesus words himself calls himself God. Every time he talks about God, he refers to the father every single verse. So the Bible, if the Bible doesn't contradict itself, then who's wrong and who's right? Well, and this, this is where I get to the point where it's a mystery because we genuinely don't know. Wait, but, wait, 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 wait. So it's so so it's a mystery. So it's so so you're saying this is the verse that gets you the most uh intrigued by the Trinitarian position. Am I following correctly? Yes, this okay. verse, this verse, okay. this listen, that verse is the reason I watch so many okay, so no, many that's debates. Good. That's because good. the that's problem the, the the reason why this verse is important because if you watch when you if you watch the debates, and one is Pentecostal uses this verse and says Trinitarians are wrong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because you understand that their view as a son is the father. Mm-hmm. And this is a very clear verse that would state that the son is the father. Okay. If you, if you catch what I'm saying. And then if you go to Isaiah 9, 5, it says a son will be born. He will be called everlasting father um, and, and, things, and, and things of that nature. And they say that's very much proof that the son is the father, mm-hmm. which, of course, I think without proper context, that verse is clearly, even the I and father are one, to me, that points more towards one is Pentecostals than it would do Trinitarians. I don't know if you agree with that. I, I, I wouldn't just because there's, I don't know, there's other verses that support that. The, 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 the other one, Luke 4, I mean, excuse me, Philippians 4, let your attitude be the same as, as Christ Jesus, who being in the form God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, right? That's Philippians chapter 4. I know that verse. But no, I'm saying, why, why do you not think this points toward, more towards one is Pentecostals, though? Because I think the error that one is Pentecostals make is they, don't, they, they have more of a view where it's like a... Um, the manifestation word, right? Like God has like almost like split personality disorder, which I know one of Pentecostals are going to get that, on me and be like, that that's, not, they do, that's not what we believe. But yes, it is, yes, it which, is. what they yes, believe. It it's like he's he's revi- his, his manifesting himself in different ways where I think if we're looking at all the scripture together, that Jesus is God, God the Father is God, but they have different, uh, what was the word you used? I like the word you used. Persons is, is not all the way here. No, Distinctions, no, entities. entities. Yeah, yeah. They're different, but they're all one and the same. I think I, that I is quest- in I, this I, sense. I have a question, though. Go ahead. And by the way, trust me, I'm not a one as Pentecostal. But I do find these things interesting. And since I'm talking to a Trinitarian, I would love to ask. How do you feel about the Isaiah verse when it says, A son will come and he will be called everlasting father, uh, almighty God. Mm-hmm. I forgot which Isaiah verse is mm-hmm. that. Isaiah 9, 6. Let me see. Isaiah 9, 6. Yeah, for unto us a child will be born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. So you said that's a that's a verse for oneness. Is that, is that oh yeah, saying? for sure. Okay. Because why wouldn't it? Why 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 wouldn't it be? And by the way, this just comes from me watching all these debates. I listen. I don't agree. You don't agree. But okay. What what is your stance on why I would say the Everlasting Father if the Son isn't the Father? Um, be, I, th- I would just revert back to the paradox of the Trinity. Like they're one, but they're distinct. They're one, but they're distinct. I think that's a, that, that's a fair position where the God and of God, Jesus says, I and the father are one. He's, he made but that this, fairly but, clear. This says they are one. I think it reaffirms that. Um, no, hold on, wait, before you try to skirt past it. I'm not it's, trying it's, to skirt past it. This is uh, like, I'm not uh, trying uh, to convince you of the Trinity here, but I said, I'm trying to get a better gauge on what you believe I, 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 and where I, I, you, I where you, cause you're right. There on the divinity of Jesus, like you say it, but you won't just no, no, no. outright say it. And I'm oh, very confused. I, I'm trying to get to the reason no, no. of it. I, I, I can try to explain that one more time, but you don't I do have to explain to know, it. I do want to know why he calls, why I say he would be called the everlasting Father if the Son is not the Father. You can say that uh-huh. I and the Father are one thing, but that that was that was Jesus himself talking because of the Trinity. Because of the Trinity. So that means you think the Son is the Father. No, I feel like the Son is one with the Father, just like Jesus said in the New Testament. There, but I'll say the Father is greater than him. And that is true. There's a, there, there is a degree of who sent who. Yes, that is also true. Paradox. This oh, is oh a, fact, I have a question for you. Uh, this one of the council thing. I, I have so many other things I want to talk to you about, Bryson. No, no, I, I know, but that that you know, if, if anyone is Pentecostal in the chat, I think they're thinking like, yeah. but sure. um, my question is on the Trinity. Do you think it's a hierarchy type thing, or do you think it's like literally? Com- I think it's complementarian. It's 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 the same. It's the going back to my illustration with my wife. I am the head. As Christ is the head, and I think it's a complementarian thing. So yes, I don't know if that answers your I don't know if that answers your question. It's equal, it, it equal, but there's um, 
first among equals. That's 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 an easy way to describe first couple among equals. First among right equals. Yeah. If God the Father is the first among equals. The pastor in a church is the first among equals. The husband is the first among equals. Complementary so, so, so. theology. That's why the that's why people would say the Trinity is important because if you don't if you don't understand the Trinity, you don't understand authority. It's difficult to understand church structure. Difficult to understand marriage because it's this co complementary concept where yes, the husband is the first among equals. That doesn't mean my wife is inferior. And I, in hierarchy, would say that I am uh, I am the boss and my wife is a sub subservient to me. Jesus is not subservient to the Father, right? But but the Father is the First among mean? equals. Well, hold on. Before I get to that, let me ask a second. First, when you say God, the Father is the first among equals, mm -hmm. you mean he comes before? Right? As in he was created. No, I think they're both eternal. They're all eternal beings to me. No, Jesus, I don't mean come Jesus, before cre cre yeah. I mean like comes before. Like he's the, the, the head of the, what you would say, equals. But the head of those equals, the first is the Father. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, God sent the Son. Father sent the Son, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. So okay. I, again, that, that that that's a par that's a paradoxical view that maybe most people don't want to acknowledge. But again, it's the same thing as well. The Bible is written by men, but it is the Word of God. It's there. It's one and the same. It's not either or. It's one and the same. God used people to write the Bible, but yet the Bible are the words of God. It's these paradoxes are all throughout Scripture. So okay, um, so, I can talk about I I I I, I one I want to talk to you about a lot of other things. Oh no, this is interesting. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Four, one more. No, I just for the sorry, sake of I'm time. Sorry. For the sake of time. I don't want to. Like, just one more, please. Go please, one more. One, go for go for go for one yeah. more. One more. Because you you, you just said that uh, the father comes first. What what did you mean by when you said the son isn't subservient to the father? Sub. So let's look up the word subservient, right? Like so, like the way subservient. Let's look up the word. And maybe that was the wrong word, by the way. So I'm open to be um, less important. Subordinate is a similar word. Um, uh, uh, ob obeying unquestionably serving uh so so someone that is subservient the, the way i meant it is less important than subordinate like my wife is not subordinate to me right my wife is just as equal as me she has just as much value as i do her role may be different especially in this season she's pregnant she's she's about to have another kid right like so but we but she's still equal with me right and we're one right in my household we're one we have the same address we have the same bank account we sleep in the same bed we have the same degree of authority over my child we're one however and i know this is a flawed metaphor and you guys are going to be like you should have used the egg or, or you should have used the water and the ice and the right so I'm, I'm i'm saying that's what i mean so in the same way that there's a complementarian view in the marriage head right uh that that is how i would describe the the relationship in the trinity extremely not the perfect that explanation would you say jesus obeys the father of course and and jesus sends the holy spirit so if he obeys the father at least by the first definition i mean he is subservient right i mean depending on how you use the word subservient but you also factor in that jesus in the flesh right because he's also human that's the part that that it trips people up he's also 100 percent human it's like, this is basic in one sense. He's 100% human. He's 100% God. Kingstream Entertainment. Bruce Lawn. Joshua the King came down and bore it all. Yeah. Conversations front of the fireplace. All of my mistakes out of wire race. Wanna operate at a higher pace. Birth pains causing the body.